All right, we're going to go through paragraph styles. Let me zoom in here a little bit. All right, so what you're looking at is a poem by Edgar Allan Poe called Alone. So this is our title, and here is the poetry text. So what we're going to do here is use a paragraph style um, to format the title differently from the, par uh, the poem text and then utilize those same paragraph styles to do other formats within the same document. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into paragraph styles and we're going to set one up. So new paragraph style, we're going to call this poem title. And we're going to basic character formats and we're going to set our font. So let's say that we want to use Arial font and our font size for our title is going to be 36. Um, Let's go ahead and make it bold. Now you could change all kinds of things in here. We're just going to do a couple indents and spacing. Um, so the alignment right now is left justified. If I want to align it to the center for the title, I can do that here. Um, right now, it will not have a big buffer space between the title and the actual first line here. So we're going to increase the spacing after. What that's going to do is give us a little bit of a separator. This is all PICA measurements, so we can always adjust this later. Let's try this for right now. All right, so again, this style is called Poem Title. Let's go ahead and click OK. And let's apply this paragraph style to this one uh, title up here. So we'll grab our Type Tool, put our cursor. You don't have to select it. You can just have your cursor in the line of text somewhere, and you can apply that paragraph style. So we can see here, here's our title, Arial font, centered and bold. If you find that it's too large or you want to edit, you can go into the poem title and that paragraph style and let's say we want to maybe the font's a little too much. I've got my preview check down here at the bottom left so I can kind of see it live. Let's say that's pretty good, and let's say if you wanted to reduce the spacing, just so you can see what happens here with the spacing after, you can see that the rest of the paragraph text is moving up. All right, so let's say that that's good. Now, if we want to set up a second style for the actual poem here, um, the key here before you set up another paragraph style is to make sure nothing is selected. So I'm going to actually click away so my text box is no longer selected and I'm going to set one up. So I, if I want to match this font, for example, um, Arial font, I go in here. Actually, this is basic paragraph text. If I just want to edit this, I can go in here. See what happened though? I made a mistake. Control Z. Make sure nothing is selected. I'm going to go into the basic paragraph text here. Double click it to edit and basic character. So if I want the fonts to match, maybe I'll just pick Arial up here, 12 point. Maybe I'll bump it down. Oh, I don't know. Let's just change it to 11, indents and spacing. If I want to align those to the center, since it's a poem, never center align a bunch of, you know, like paragraphs, like a novel or something like that. But Things like this, poetry, you could get by with a center alignment. So we click OK. Whoops. Center alignment. And that's what we have. Now, if we wanted to add a little bit of spacing between the lines of text here to make it a little bit easier to read, um, we can adjust. Go back into basic character. Um, we can adjust letting. Letting is like line spacing. And so right now, 13. If you want to see what 14. So you can just kind of eyeball it as long as you have your preview um, on here. So let's say we'll just leave it at 18. Okay, so the whole idea behind setting a paragraph style is that you can reuse it on other text that you have. So right now we have, oh, I'm sorry, second page here that's empty. I'm going to click on it. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Uh-oh, I lost my... Um, paragraph style on my title here so I'm just gonna go in and show you why you set these up so 
go back in here and apply the poem title. Oh, I know why. I didn't know I had that second one already set up. Anyway, so there you go. Now, notice I did not have to um, format this text because it's basic paragraph text, which is the default. All right, so what you can see here now, go over, is right here we have this little plus. That basically means we have offset text, and offset text means there's more text than what fits in the text box that I've drawn right now. So in other words, if I want the text to flow into, for example, the third page, I grab with the black arrow, grab onto the little plus to, and it basically loads my icon. You can see it here. And I can drag and drop and create a text box. Now, this is another interesting thing. It's only one line of text, which is not a good thing. This is actually called an orphan line when one line of text goes to the next page. So this gives us another opportunity to go into our paragraph styles, for example, here and make sure nothing's selected. And let's go into our basic paragraph and let's try to control that from happening. So the easiest way probably let's just um, go back to our letting here and you can see just reducing the letting a little bit eliminated the need for that um, offset text here. So that's your paragraph styles in a nutshell. Um, so if if I added any new content on this page here, I'm just going to type in some garbage text. By default, okay, it's going to automatically be in the basic paragraph, but let's say this is our title. We would just select that particular line, apply the poem title paragraph style, and it's done. 